Tanya Menendez thought she was a picture of health at age 55. But shortness of breath and the inability to do things she used to do easily got her husband's attention. He's a radiologist and he nudged her, or maybe even say nagged her, to get it checked out. And when she finally did, she couldn't believe what they found. I was digging a trench with a pickaxe and realized all of a sudden I couldn't do it anymore. I had to stop, put the axe down, and I told my husband, I think I have asthma. 55-year-old Tanya Menendez did not have asthma. Go ahead, put a nail in. But she kept getting short of breath while working on the family farm. Tanya's husband insisted she get it checked out. He said, I don't care what kind of doctor you go to. Just go to a doctor. So grudgingly, Menendez went to an allergist who listened to her heart. He said, oh, wow, you, that's quite an impressive heart murmur you have there. And I said, well, I've had it my whole life. No big deal. And it's never been a problem. But he thought it was a big deal and sent Tanya for an echocardiogram immediately. It revealed a congenital heart defect, a bicuspid aortic valve with severe stenosis. He called them when they were actually uh, driving home, Tanya and her husband, to say, you need to get in here sooner than later because it was at a critical point where the valve really needed to be addressed. Dr. Samantha Avery is a cardiologist in Gulfport. She told Tanya she would need to have that valve replaced, and within a week, she had surgery. I was really just dumbfounded because I've been a vegetarian my whole life. I'm extremely active. I was taking absolutely no medications. And that's typically what happens with females is that we say it's something else because it couldn't possibly be this thing. But the reality of the situation, you know, cardiovascular disease is the leading, leading cause of death amongst women. Yeah, at any moment. Um, I could have I could have died. I could have dropped dead at any moment doing any activity because it was so bad. Now Tanya has a new lease on life and she's back to doing all the activities she loves. I really thought I was only feeling shortness of breath, but I was feeling very lethargic. I was exhausted all the time and I really thought it was because we were remodeling the farmhouse. I blamed everything but a possibility that my health was at risk. She knows how lucky she is, and her advice to other women, go to your doctor yearly, like you're supposed to, and listen to what your body's telling you. And it's because of stories like hers that each year News Channel 8 is a major supporter of the Tampa Bay Heart Walk. This year, it is Saturday, November 20th, just a few weeks away, with separate starting locations in Tampa, St. Pete, and Wesley Chapel. It's easy to join my team and donate, and this year, Florida Blue is our partner. They're matching the first $50,000 we raise. Just go to WFLA.com slash heartwalk to sign up.